Spencer, how are you this morning, mate? <laughs> Laura, Ali, yeah, really well, thanks, really well. Now, this, that is the beauty of being small sometimes. <laughs> what I've done was I slipped underneath the bottom rope. I went in there and I just gave crash the party. Sometimes you've got to do it, guys. You know, I was like, in my head, I was like, we are the broadcaster. We are the main broadcaster. Oh, it was funny. Well Spencer, done. I'm going to tell you, mate, you made my night because I was sitting, what I was sitting at Woodsy. I was sitting watching with the boys and then at the bottom right hand side of my screen, but it was Alan that shouted, "Here's Spencer!" And he comes flying into the ring. Good on, good on you, mate. We, we enjoyed the fight, oh, mate. We enjoyed it. Thank you. What was it yeah, like out there? It, it was, oh, it was absolutely insane. The whole week actually was like, I mean, the, the Saudis really did put on a great event. The whole week was absolutely brilliant. To give you an idea of what was going on, even at the boxing, you know, you saw the boxing event itself was, was amazing. There, like mad fireworks going on, everything mm. else, and then we. When we was outside, just outside the place, they had like punch balls going on, they had skating going on, like virtual boxing. It was just a really good event. It was like a carnival sort of atmosphere. It was like, it was great. I've got to say, it was um, it was fantastic. It was entertainment at its best. Mm. What about the fight? Because um, I watched it and, and one thing I'll say, Spencer, is my dad actually wanted to watch this fight. And I, and I think maybe that yes. just gives you an idea of, of how well this was marketed. Um, and a lot of people actually, in the end, I think they kind of got on board with um, the narrative between the two fighters and, and actually... I think you saw that more post-fight when, when Tommy was so emotional that he'd won. I think a lot of the criticism had kind of been put aside. Uh, um, what did you make of the quality of it? Was it where you thought it should be? Yeah, listen, Laura, you can't deny the appetite for the fight. I mean, there was so much interest right across the board, you know, from the younger generation and even the older generation and the boxing purists. They all started to start fancy and watching it because we didn't really know what the fight was going to bring. We didn't know how good... Either man was really because they'd never been tested. Although Tommy Fury was like four and um, eight and over four KOs, he'd never really boxed at any sort of level. And Jake Paul was effectively having his first professional fight because the other guys mm -hmm. were like former UFC stars, over age and whatnot. So we didn't really know, and that that unknown made it really exciting. And they're they're both great salesmen. The quality of the fight, it was listen, it was like it was like beginner stages, really. Maybe maybe not even as good as professional boxing, but that's what made it so good you know i think that they they marketed themselves really well and, and what people have got to understand is listen it it was what it was for me it was all about it was entertainment boxing was the umbrella of it all but it was entertainment and i, and I think that if you can just take it for that you know these kids are not even near world-class sort of level i think the problem that we had was like the wbc mauricio suleiman saying the winner of this fight gets a top yeah. 40 40 ranking and all that and that sort of causes problems with the yeah. boxing world because the boxing world again listen I graft hard I'm boxing on these small yeah. shows and I'm not even top 40 in Britain let alone the world so why should they get that sort of status because of the money that they're bringing in the money they're generating I mean like you guys said the eyeballs that were on it and the ears that were listening to it was just insane. It was really was yeah. insane. Like to give you an idea, I got in the ring when I got in the ring to do those interviews, which you guys saw. <laughs> my phone was popping off with people going, "Oh, I'm watching like people that I didn't even know were watching the boxing." Like, oh, I can't believe you got in the ring and rare, rare, rare. <laughs> So yeah, it was just, it was just, it was just good fun. It was good fun. But I did um, got in a little bit of trouble for that. I've got to tell you, like <laughs> that whole gate crashing the broadcasting. Yeah, I was not flavour of the month afterwards. Like you could have cut the atmosphere with a knife. It was, it's. <laughs> Start, it went from being very warm out here to very, very cold. Trust me. Spencer, does it matter, mate? You made my night anyway. Listen, I want to, I, I, I want to read you a quote from Carl Froch, right? He said, Tommy's done professional boxing purists a massive favour by shutting up Jake Paul. He can't call himself a professional boxer because he's going in against a novice pro and got absolutely whooped. He got obliterated. I'm not sure about that right enough. Now, do you agree that Tommy saved the sport by stopping a YouTuber? Ali, 100%. You know, it was that was going to be a disaster if Tommy had lost that yeah, fight. Yeah. And, um, you know, thankfully, he saved the sport of boxing by going in there and doing <laughs> yeah. the job. The return will happen, by the way. And I think it'll happen out here because I think there was a rematch clause in there in Jake Paul's favour. Mm. And he will activate that because that's the only way he keeps his boxing career alive. So we will see it again probably in about four months or so. But thankfully, Tommy Fury won and kept um, the boxing world um, happy, if I should, yeah. probably the best yeah. way of saying it. And 
Tyson and all the family are out here. And trust me, they were leaving Tommy here if he didn't win. So <laughs> lucky for him, he hasn't got to spend the rest of his life in Saudi. <laughs> Excellent. Well, look, Spencer, get yourself home and well done. And thank you so much for coming on this morning as well. Well done, Paul. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, lovely Take to care. speak to you. Um, Spencer Oliver, talk sport boxing pundit. I don't know anyone in the world that's got more enthusiasm. I think he's a wonderful person. Just brilliant to have him on this morning as well. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.